Josh Tishalar is a branch manager for Pikes Peak of Texas, a wholesale florist in Dallas, who had his catalytic converters stolen from the delivery vans. It's a perishable item, so uh, you know we try to get him down his speedy way. As time is of the essence. Weddings, hospitals, funerals. The flowers need to be delivered quickly. It is frustrating and there's not a whole lot you can do about it, unfortunately. I mean, we even have security. The metals inside these catalytic converters are expensive right now. They're high value. Surveillance video shows the two suspects crystal clear and seconds later, you see the woman carrying the catalytic converter in hand, even though you see the plates to the car. As the suspects are now swapping out the license plates on cars, police are asking you to do your part to please get an exact description of the vehicle. Are there any dents on the cars? Is there anything specific? A missing hubcap, a bumper? That right there will help police solve the crime. Lawmakers are asking for harsher penalties. In mid-June, Governor Greg Abbott signed House Bill 4110, regulation of metal recycling. This requires a person who is trying to steal a catalytic converter to a scrapyard to provide proof of where the metal came from. When this new bill goes into effect, they're going to be charged with felonies. The people that buy the catalytic converters are going to be charged with felonies. Then there was this one right under this man's nose. The suspect stole a catalytic converter from the car next to him. That one could have turned tragic. This could have turned into a potentially dangerous situation if there was a confrontation. Across Dallas, police tell us there have been 800 catalytic converter theft calls this year alone, with 300 thefts in the last two months. But that's not the actual number of catalytic converters stolen from vehicles. We have every detective we have available working on them because we have so many of these offenses. Lawmakers are hoping the bill will go into effect on September 1st, and authorities are asking the public if you hear something, the sound of a saw, say something. We're in Dallas. I'm Molly Basu.